Um, just before lunch, we're going to hear from uh, a long-term member and the big flag bearer of the Institute of Chartered Accountants here in Pakistan and just get an update in terms of what's going on. And thank you to you, uh, Mr. Babar. Thank you very much. So uh, please welcome the chairman of the PAIB committee, Mr. Jakob Sutar. Sorry. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, to all of you for being here. I'm just going to take 10 minutes to just update all of you of some of the activities we are doing on the PAIB Committee of uh, uh, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan. Uh, the entire council is uh, extremely uh, uh, geared towards uh, the 80 percent of our membership which resides in the industry and uh, they have given me this task to make sure that we engage the members in the industry we try to do something for them and we try to make sure that uh, the institute caters for their uh, requirements there are just four points i'll dwell upon and uh, first i'd like to introduce to you my committee which uh, you can see comes from a big variety of uh, industries they're all members from the industry. A few of them are sitting here, like Mr. Kazi and Mr. Naim Gori over here. Uh, in Karachi also, we have a big team. We all sit down uh, about once a month, deliberating upon how we can help the members in the industry and what all can we do. And the CFO conference is also one of the product of this committee, where we uh, engage with the uh, business, the professional accountants in business, and uh, the International Federation of Accountants uh, also has a committee which is known as the PAIB Committee of IFAC. And I am uh, the, the lucky one to be representing Pakistan on that, along with Mr. Khalid Rahman, who is the Vice President of our uh, Southern Region. There, a lot of things are being deliberated upon uh, as to how we can uh, help the PAIBs across the world. And the PAIBs uh, in that committee are uh, working on a lot of things, and we plan to this year integrate the PAIB of IFAC with the PAIB of uh, Pakistan, which is the ICAP PAIB. As a result, we will be deliberating and working locally on most of the subjects that is being deliberated abroad at the international level. And uh, if you look at your kit bags, you have a document which is known as uh, competent and versatile. This is one document, this is how it looks which you have in your kit bags, and this is what was developed by the uh, IFAC's PAIB committee, and we took permission and uh, disseminated it to all our members in Pakistan, and the ICAP was the second institute after Australia which did this, and the rest of the world is also following. So we keep working on these documents. It is a good document for you to share with all your non-accounting colleagues in your organization, like the head of HR, you can circulate it to your managing director, and uh, they will then appreciate the versatility that accountants bring into an organization. It's not just number crunching, it's much more than that, and it will be a good thing for you to disseminate. Besides this, uh, as I mentioned about the CFO conferences, this is the sixth one in the series that we started in the year 2010. We had one uh, alternate year, we're having it in Islamabad and Lahore, and uh, I'm glad that uh, you all are responding to it, and inshallah we'll keep on improving upon it as we go along. Now, we are just not having a conference and forgetting about it. If you look at this slide, uh, in the four conferences that we've had, about close to 2,000 people have attended. And they have yielded, these uh, conferences have yielded discussions on around 27 diverse topics of interest by approximately 63 individual speakers. We also put a very strict uh, discipline on ourselves that we will not bring a speaker twice. So every year it's tough to look for new people, new individuals, and most of you, if you have an interest, please let us know. We'll have you also as one of the speakers in the next conference. Now this entire source of knowledge has been harnessed and we have put it on a web page in the ICAP's uh, uh, website, and the web page is known as the PAIB. So when you click onto that, that web page opens, and in that, 
the team at icap has developed a center for excellence now this center for excellence has a record of all the speeches that have been made and all the discussions forums that we have had and you can click on to it and at the comfort of your home listen to it whenever you want and we are also talking to the uh, cpd committee to even give you those cpd hours if you inform them that yes i have been spending 10 hours or 5 hours watching these uh, uh, speeches which have been downloaded over there so you you have this access now and this is what uh, the pib committee has done for you the other thing what we have done is uh, as a new pib enters into an organization the boss says now that you are here and you are a professional we want you to exercise or install good controls policies and procedures in the organization then the poor chap starts calling all his friends we are apna zara mujhe ek copy de dena human resource manual ka this and the other so why why do that so what icap is doing in this pib web page we have now uploaded seven different policies and procedures now these are not state of the art the team is working very hard to make sure that we bring in more the four more being done which should be added towards the next two or three months but please go through it use it and if you have a better idea put it on the commentary box or a feedback box which is over there if we find something you can add better we will add it and further up update it so this will be under dynamic review and it will all be available for all of us the last item i had was that a committee has started the professional excellence awards and this is uh, something which is generating a lot of interest amongst the members this year was the second one that we announced in karachi what you have in front of you is the members of the jury we had zafar uh, subani who is the chief executive of hubco firoz and parco and ayaz ahmed the cfo of habib bank so these three individuals went through about 12 or 13 projects that we received and uh, i'm happy to announce that we gave the third position went to a ferguson and company chartered accountants they had uh, they had done a very good project on establishing sustainability line of service it was an innovative project they have started working on and this was the uh, project that the jury identified as very much in line with the the need of the r what we need and that is what the theme of the conference is also about so they got the third position the second position went to engro foods limited the finance team the finance team worked on a beautiful milk automation service and some of the banking uh, panelists also mentioned that they have started giving cards to all the milk sellers across the country and they just go and swipe the cards and the transactions take place so they don't have to use uh, physical cash and all those things to pay for the milk collection so that was a very good thing and they've not only gotten an award from icap they've also gotten an award from certain other institutions so this project is being uh, recognized this uh, the award in karachi when we had this we had called these gentlemen to make a presentation on their subject so very soon we will upload it on the website so you can even hear exactly what they have done and uh, you can learn from their experiences the first position went to a company by the name of synthetic products enterprises limited it's a lahore based company and they implemented the activity based costing they have large portfolio of products where they never knew which product is making how much money so the finance division took up the initiative and they installed the activity based costing now they know exactly which product makes money which does not and it is adding a lot of value to the organization so with this uh, small uh, brief presentation i thank you all very much for coming here and i hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, conference thank you very much Thank you so much for that. I hope you've agreed. We had a, a wonderful morning session, and now it's time for you to have lunch. So we're going to take a break for one hour. We are going to start sharp at two o'clock. Strategies for raising funds through financial instruments. So be sure and join us. We're going to have the managing director of the Karachi Stock Exchange here with us. So thank you all. You've been a, a wonderful audience this morning. I really appreciate your interest and indeed your interactivity. And it's been an absolute joy to be here with you. And to all of our morning speakers, a big thank you once again. So have a lovely lunch. Um, enjoy your time.